Hi everyone, in today's video, I'll be talking about 2024 spring fashion trends. You guys seem to really like these videos, so I plan to do them every season. I got info from recent runway shows, also TikTok, Pinterest, random articles. I'm gonna start off with the trends that I'll definitely be skipping on, then my maybes, and then finally the trends that I'll definitely be participating on. By the way, I just got these glasses and they are my new personality. I think they're so cute. I like the shape, the color. I think it complements my hair pretty well. Okay. Let's get started. First trend that I'll be skipping is boxing shoes. And really the only reason is because I don't think they fit with my personal style. It's very much TikTok, Pinterest, girly sort of style, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like a lot of the time it's missing the personalization piece. I hope I don't regret saying this. And later on, you're going to see me wearing some of these. So don't quote me. Don't quote me. I deserve the right to change my mind, as do you. This is just how I feel right now. <laughs> Anyway, if I were to get them, they'd definitely be the ones that are like almost to the knee or shin length. I don't like the shorter ones. I think they look really adorable with tiny shorts, skirts, even dresses possibly, but not for me. Next trend I'll be passing on is butter yellow. I talked about this a little bit in my previous video, so I won't really dive into it, but just not my color. Doesn't really go well with my skin tone. I could see why other people like it. I just wanted to throw it in here in case you were interested. I really like it styled here with the plaid midi skirt, the aviator glasses. I think she looks super sick. And this other model too, yellow plaid, I think is really pretty. Just unfortunately, my pasty ass cannot pull off this color. The next turn I'll be passing on is fringe. I particularly hate how it's being styled on the runaways. Runway, oh my God, why did I struggle with that word? I guess I've just never been a fan of fringe whatsoever on skirts, on anything really. The only acceptable fringe in my eyes is when it is on a vintage leather jacket, maybe like very 70s-esque. I think that can be pretty cool. This fringe bag is okay though on this person. I think she looks pretty cool. Maybe I'd be into fringe accents. Mm, probably not for me. I really despise the next trend and that is barrel jeans or pantaloons. Um, yeah, I don't, I haven't seen them look good on anyone, any body shape, any height, any different style. I just, I do not like them. It makes your legs look really strange. I mean, I low-key commend people who wear them because they don't care that it makes their legs look like pantaloons. I feel like at this point we've recycled everything and the trend cycle goes so fast that I feel like maybe people are getting desperate to push out something very different. And I think that's what the barrel jeans are. All jeans are trending right now. You know, low rise, mid rise, boot cut, straight leg, wide leg, whatever. That someone was like, we got to push this look now. We got to make our legs look like, I don't, I'm, I'll stop now before I get in trouble. Anyway, this is a trend I'm, I'm definitely skipping. I definitely don't see this being a timeless trend either. And the ones I've come across are pretty expensive too, so. Quite an investment, I would say, for jeans that are not very cute or very flattering. Let me know in the comments, are you into barrel jeans? Do you hate them as much as I do? Or do you just feel like whatever about them? I'm curious to know. The next trend I'll be skipping is leopard pants. I just don't think it would fit my personal style. I don't know what it is. I just, I don't like it. I see it on other people and I think it looks cool. I feel like if you want to participate in this trend, it's a good trend to do so because leopard is timeless, so. Good investment, I guess. Maybe be conscious of the pant style that you go with. Maybe not a leopard barrel jean. Oh my god, can you imagine? They're gonna do it. I know they are. The next trends I'm going over are my maybes. Starting off with interesting cutouts, or I've seen them be called column cutouts. This is a trend I'd want to really participate in, but I just... I'm unsure of how I want to do it. These examples here I think are so freaking sick. Not really wearable for me though. It would be way too much boobage. Like, I wish I was this flat chested. I mean, like anyone could wear these styles, but honestly, I would just feel a little bit too exposed. I would definitely do a cutout maybe like in the waist. I think that's super cute. Or my favorite one is like a big, interesting cutout in the back because I have my back tattooed and any chance I can get to show it off, I do because girl, I never get to see it and it was painful, so can you blame me? <laughs> we'll see, maybe we'll, I'll find something like this. I will keep you guys updated. 
The next trend is fuller A-line skirts, specifically A-line midi skirts. This is a maybe for me because I just can't get past them being a bit unflattering on me. I'm not very tall. I'm only 5'5", five five, so sometimes I feel like a skirt like that would drown me. But I could figure it out with balance. So I could wear a very tight top, maybe like a, I don't know, baby tee. I really love the one here with the buckles, the gray one. I think it's super cool. I don't think it's a piece I would invest in new. So if I am gonna participate in this trend, it has to be thrifted. So if I can't find it thrifted or secondhand, I'm not gonna do it. The last maybe for me is a striped oversized button down. This is a maybe because I feel like when I see it style, it leans very preppy, very like beachy, clean girl. Oh my God, I'm sick of saying that. I don't know. I think it looks good on other people though. Very like breezy, casual. Like I just threw this on, I'm ready to go. I do like it styled very tomboy, like in these examples. Very oversized, buttoned up with baggy jeans. I love this outfit with the tie. I feel like this is so easy to thrift. I feel like I see a million of these shirts in the men's section, so I might just get one for a styling video. We'll see. Ooh, I don't want to skip on this look. How cool does this person look? Hmm, so maybe layered. So yeah, time will tell with this one. Sorry about the angle change, but I was sitting on my knees for some dumb reason, <laughs> and now I'm sitting crisscross applesauce. Anyone else feel the most comfortable on the floor? Anyway. Now moving on to the trends I'll be wearing, starting off with sheer lacy skirts. I think this is a different rendition of the white maxi skirt that we were all obsessed with last summer and spring. Not mad about it. I think it's a really cute, different variation. Obsessed with this look right here with the loafers, the cutoff band tee. I also like it with cowboy boots, moto boots, and all these different examples here. Honestly, I feel like I'm never gonna find this <laughs> at the thrift store. I'm definitely gonna have to buy it secondhand online or new if I have to, but I know that I'll wear it a ton, so I wouldn't feel guilty about it. I'll still be wearing my white maxi skirt though, for sure. Just probably rotating between the two. I haven't decided though if I want a black one or a white one. I kind of like the juxtaposition of a white one because it's like more feminine and airy. And then I could wear it with like a punk tee, you know? I, I love that. And I feel like if it's black, then it'd be too matchy matchy with the rest of my wardrobe. We'll see. The next trend I really want to wear is capris. And I think in the last trend video I did, I said I was unsure, but now I am in fact 100% sure that I want to participate in this trend. And there's different variations that I'm a fan of. First one being like just plain black ones in the very like classic 50s sort of way, worn with flats. I'm really obsessed with plaid ones that I've seen, but particularly sets. I'm really in love when they come in a set, matching top, matching capris. I also really like them in denim particularly when they're like low rise. I think they look really cute. Like this person is wearing here. They look so adorable. These brown ones are pretty sick too with a little tie on the side. I wouldn't begin to know where to get them, but I think they're really cute. But upon doing research, I remembered a different variation of capris that I was really into, I don't know, in the early 2000s, which was like the very Avril Lavigne-esque sort of capris, like Midwest emo sort of capris. People wore them with like their Converse and then like a page boy hat. And I'll try to find an example of what I mean by that, but I hope you get the visual. I would love, love, love to find a camo pair. Like the ones that Avril's wearing here or this person. I guess theirs are more like jorts, but if they were a little bit longer, I would love them. I mean, this person looks sick anyways, but I would really love to style them like these two examples. So I'll be on the lookout for those. I also wouldn't mind brown ones in like that looser, baggier style as well. I definitely feel like that style of capris aligns with my personal style a little bit more. So we'll see, I'll be on the hunt. The next trend I am simply obsessed with is rose applique or rose print clothing items. I'm obsessed with this rose print midi skirt. I would love if the roses were red though, not pink. So that's what I'm looking for. Look at this dress. Oh my god, it's beautiful with just the rose applique in the middle. I just wish it wasn't $138. This top is super cute. If it was in red or black, I'd totally wear it. Then we have like this dainty one with the roses, with the rose applique. I'm also obsessed with this person here. Um, I'm pretty sure this dress is like vintage Betsy Johnson. So beautiful. We've been doing florals, kind of like ditzy florals or 
I don't know, daisies, whatever, all sorts of different flowers, but I haven't seen us do roses very much for a while. So I'm very excited about this. I feel like it's finally something a little bit different, a little bit more fresh, right? Than the same old, same old that we keep regurgitating every spring. The next trend is kitten heel slingbacks or slingback kitten heels, whatever you want to call them. I'm obsessed. Before it was like a maybe, now I really want a pair, like desperately. I've been trying to thrift them. I see a bunch of cute ones, just not in my size. I just know any day now I'm going to find a pair. I don't know. I don't believe in manifestation, so I don't know how that's going to work out for me. I might just have to buy them new. We'll see. I definitely want them with a buckle or a bow. I like them in red. I think they're super chic, but I think I'm going to go with black or brown because I just know I'll wear them more. I would order some secondhand online, but I'm particular when it comes to shoes. I have really bad luck with ordering shoes online. Most of the time they like don't fit or are too tight or too big, whatever. I'll probably just buy them new like at Nordstrom or something if I can't thrift them. The next trend is huge and that's charm necklaces. Literally just a bunch of charms on a singular necklace. I think this trend is adorable. I just wish I didn't struggle with jewelry giving me sensory discomfort. Like, even rings, if I'm being honest with you, I don't like wearing them. I just like the look of them. Just having so many items sitting on my chest, I don't know. I'll have to try it out, but I'm obsessed. Look at this stack here. Oh my god, with the sacred heart. So beautiful. This watch one is super sick, but I think that's more of a choker. Still cute, still wanted to show it to you guys gold one so good with the little cherubs with the little cherubs the hearts clock heart and everything i totally wear that one what i love the most about this trend too is that you can personalize it so you can pick whatever charms you want to put on it i mean they sell ones that are already like you know pre-made the way that they are but i know for sure i've heard that some etsy sellers will do custom ones for you and i've even seen i think on tiktok specific jewelry places that will do these for you i'm gonna look into that I think that'd be a fun activity. Expensive one probably, but you only live once. I'm gonna kind of lump the next trend with this trend and that's just excessive or maximalist jewelry. Really into this trend. Adds personalization to any outfit. Like, oh my God, I've been seeing these stacked bangles all over the place and I think they look really good. Also like stacked and layered necklaces are really cute. So I'm into it. I might go a little crazy one day and put on all the jewelry I own at the same time and leave my house. We'll see how long I last. I'm sure you guys are all sick of this trend for spring, but it is ginnum. It's here to stay. I think this is definitely a trend that is timeless for sure. But, but, but particularly this spring, we are wearing them in the color red and also more in little sets. I'm really, really on the lookout for a top and skirt set or like a little top and little short set. I'm obsessed. Or even in like a little 40s vintage silhouette I think would be adorable like this person is wearing. I love a little Bridget Bardot silhouette, so cute. And this peplum top this person's wearing, just perfect. Not to plug myself in here, but I do have the cutest ginnam dress that I got last spring. So cute. It also has like little bows on the arms, so two trends at once. Anyway, I plan to wear the shit out of that dress this spring. The next trend I've been talking about since last spring, and that is boxer shorts for spring and summer. I don't want to just go out and buy a pair of men's boxer shorts. I mean, I've tried, I've looked at them. They just never are exactly what I'm looking for, the color, the pattern, or anything like that. I am going to really, really, really actually take the time to research some brands that are doing some cute ones. Like, I don't know what brand this is, but I swear I saw them on Instagram. I need to look them up but I would definitely wear these brown tone ones. I still want to personalize them, like I said in my last video. Put some patches on it or something like that. I'm hoping I get some before the weather starts warming up. The next trend that's still going strong is moto boots, and if you've been watching my content or following me on Instagram, you know that I wear the shit out of mine, and it is the best investment that I've made in quite a while. I don't know if this trend is going to last forever, but... In my biased opinion, I think it is. They may not be as popular as they are right now, but I feel like they'll come and go. You know, just like combat boots. I'll be very real with you guys though, I think moto boots look best in the spring and summer when you could really show off the shoe with some tiny shorts, mini skirt, uh, mini dress, whatever. Not even, doesn't even have to be mini, like a maxi skirt, mini skirt, whatever. Um, I think it's definitely more of a spring and summer shoe. I don't know if if the next trend is an actual trend, but I swear I've heard some ramblings about it online and that is overalls. If they're not already a trend, I feel like they should be. 
They're cute all year long in my opinion. You can wear them with like a tiny top in the summer, maybe like a little sweater in the spring and then layer it up in the fall. In case you missed my last video, I did a whole video dedicated on how to style your overalls. If you wanna watch that, just FYI. I would also love a pair of overall shorts. I think they are just adorable. The only thing with that is I've always struggled to find a pair that fits my thighs or is not uncomfortable. So we'll see if that's possible this summer. I guess I could always cut a pair, huh? We'll see. Second to last trend is just below the knee socks. I know we've heard that knee high socks are back, but I've honestly been seeing more of the latter on Pinterest, everywhere online, and I've personally been wearing them that way. I think this is a super cute trend. I think it adds something a little extra special to an outfit. And at least personally for me, when I wear knee high socks, I feel a little too sexy. I don't know. So I feel a little bit more comfortable wearing below the knee socks. I wish it wasn't that way, but it is, so. The final trend that I'll continue to participate in is bows. And I know you guys are probably so sick of hearing about bows, but I'm not, I love them. I love seeing them on socks, as shoelaces, on purses, as accents on a top. I particularly like bows when they're 3D, like this one on this top. Such a cute touch. Honestly, I don't feel like I've incorporated bows enough. I need to get on that. <laughs> The most I do is wear them in my hair. What I like most about this trend though is that it's very accessible and DIY. Anywho, let me know what you think of bows. If you've been wearing bows, let me know if you feel like this is a fleeting trend that we'll look back on and cringe about. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you want to keep seeing this face, hearing my thoughts, please subscribe down below. I post videos every week, if you can believe that. I can't believe that. I, it's hard for me to stay consistent with anything in life, but this is my interest right now. So I'm very fixated on this, which I'm grateful for. Have a lovely week and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.